Hang on a second. We need to put a blanket down. Just for the record, sitting on pine needles does not feel good. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys everything that I got for Christmas this year in 2022. If you've been following me for a while, then you would know that I film these videos every single year. I don't know about you guys, but I always love seeing what other people get for Christmas. With that being said, I want you guys to take a second, pause the video and comment below your favorite thing that you got for Christmas this year. And one more thing, if this is the first time you're watching me, then I have a challenge for you. Yes, you right there. I wanna see if you can like, click subscribe and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you're ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, time's up. If you were successfully able to complete the five second challenge that I want you to comment down below. Hmm. If you could give a gift to anyone and it could be anything, who do you give a gift to and what would you give the person? Let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, we are just going to hop straight into this and I hope that you guys will enjoy watching. So let's get started. Okay, so I wanted to start off with something that I am over the moon excited about. All right, so in case you guys didn't know, I have an obsession with these things right here. They're called Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs. You guys have probably seen Callie and I raving about these, but I got a ton of new scents for Christmas this year, and I am so excited to try them. So first off, we have Coco Colada, and this was actually my very first Tree Hut, and I'm almost out of it, so I am so excited to have a backup. Then I got Cotton Candy, and I've always wanted this one. Oh, it smells so good. Literally, it smells better than what I remembered it smelling like when I've smelled it in stores before. I just love the way this looks. It's so fun. Then we have this vitamin C one, and I don't think I smelled this one yet. Ooh, that smells like the cleanest scent on planet Earth. I don't know how else to describe it, but it smells amazing. Then we have vanilla bean, tropic glow, Moroccan rose, exotic bloom, and lastly, coconut lime. It's gonna be so fun to pick and choose my scents for every day. And oh, also, I forgot about this. This is a whipped shea body butter by Tree Hut. So you apply this after you exfoliate your skin. And then to hold all of these Tree Hut sugar scrubs, I got these two shower rack organizers. And I've always wanted to be one of those girls that has every shower product and it's all nice and organized. I feel like with the new organizers and all the new Tree Huts, it is the perfect way to start off a new year. I love to smell good. So I'm very happy with all of those. The next thing I got Got were these Bath and Body Works aromatherapy shower gels. So it kind of goes hand in hand with what I just showed you guys, except these are shower gels and those were sugar scrubs. I really love the stress relieving ones. So this is eucalyptus tea. And I swear these actually work. Like they really do relieve stress. And then I also got the eucalyptus spearmint. One of my favorite ways to just unwind and take care of myself is to get bubble baths. So all of these things are going to really make me excited to do that. But that's not all. I got a lot of different products for the bath. These are called shower steamers. I've actually never had a shower steamer before. I'm not entirely sure how these work. We have eight different scents here and they are peppermint, lavender, lemon, sweet orange, rose, grapefruit, vanilla, and eucalyptus. Out of all of these, which one would you want to try the most? I bought peppermint, I love peppermint. It relaxes me and it makes me happy. Also, some bath bombs, which I am so excited to try. These also come in various different scents. So we have kiwi and strawberry. This one's called angel, ooh. Fun on the Beach, Lavender, Melon Ball, Shea and Coconut, Victorian Rose, Mango Papaya, Love, Black Raspberry Vanilla, and lastly, Fun in the Shower. So I cannot wait to try those out. Bath bombs are so fun. And again, I love the idea of having so many different choices when it comes to scent. I also got a bath pillow. Yes, I know the bath products just never end. But again, I say getting baths is one of my favorite things to do. I got some razors a ton of different face masks. Then I got $100 for my grandma. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should buy with this. Then my brother Scotty got me a Pittsburgh Penguins jacket because my boyfriend and I are always going to hockey games together. So 
Now I have some pens gear and this will keep me nice and warm. Then I also got a bunch of makeup. So let me go through and show you guys the specifics of what I got. So first up, I got three packs of oil absorbing sheets by Clean and Clear. If you have oily skin like me, these are a lifesaver. They're really inexpensive and you just get one of the sheets and you can blot your nose or your forehead, your chin, basically your T-zone or wherever you get oily, which for me is like my entire face. And it just makes you feel fresh and clean. So I love those. Then I got this eyebrow pencil by Benefit and it's in the shade Warm Light Brown. This is what I use to fill in my eyebrows and I swear by this. It is incredible. Then I got two foundations from Tarte. This is my favorite brand of foundation. I got two different shades because when I combine them, it just creates the perfect match for my skin tone. Then there are two more things. This is the Pore Professional Primer by Benefit. And this is an incredible base before you apply your makeup and it shrinks your pores. So it's a 10 out of 10, highly recommend. And then lastly, I got this Lip Plumper Lip Gloss that I am so excited to try out. And ooh, I'm actually gonna put it on right now. It's a really pretty color. <gasps> That is literally stunning. Okay, love this. Definitely one of my new favorite lip glosses. Next up, you guys, I got three new studio lights and I'll just show you the box of one of them. There's three other ones, but they're very heavy and I really don't feel like climbing over and getting them. You can kind of see them in the corner over there. I needed these so badly. Literally the three studio lights that I currently own are broken and it makes it very hard to film videos and thumbnails because I could only make them so high and then they literally just fall. So it's really dangerous and it's just not viable. So I'm so happy that I got three new ones for filming videos. <gasps> okay guys, you have to see this dress. I am obsessed. So this will be perfect for Valentine's Day. It is pink with red hearts and ruffles at the bottom. Oh, it's just amazing. I absolutely love dresses. I love pink. I love Valentine's Day. And then to go along with that dress, I got this absolutely gorgeous necklace. Let me bring it out. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a pink diamond with a golden chain. That's gonna look amazing with that dress. And just in general, I love heart-shaped jewelry. I'm wearing a golden heart necklace as we speak. And I almost forgot. Okay, so my boyfriend Dan actually made me these customized necklaces of my two pets. So this is Chester. And it's so cool because when you flip it around, you see his little name on there. And then we have one of Lucky. I am just completely in love with both of these necklaces because my pets mean a lot to me. Now it's like they're always with me. So it's very, very special. And this is good quality jewelry. Honestly, I will admit right now, I do not have any good jewelry. All of mine turns green. I don't have any expensive earrings or necklaces or rings or anything. And I'm not complaining. It's just never my priority to buy over the top expensive jewelry. So I'm so excited to actually have something that's not going to rust on me in two weeks. I have to show you guys my favorite thing that I got for Christmas this year. And you're probably expecting it to be something super expensive and crazy, but oh my gosh, let me tell you, when I received these, I just melted and it is easily my favorite gift. I'm appreciative for everything, don't get me wrong, but these just hit diff. So as you guys probably already know, I'm obsessed with Snoopy. I love the Peanuts characters. I think they're so sweet. I got these super velvety soft Snoopy pajamas in my favorite color. So this is the top and then these are the pants. But literally you guys, the minute I received these, I put them on and I wore them for two days straight. There's something about just staying home the day after Christmas that feels so good. You get to enjoy all of your gifts and just chillax and be cozy. There's nothing quite like it. Speaking of all things pink and fuzzy, I got this adorable pink jacket that I love so much. Literally, this baby pink is my favorite color to wear and just in general it's my favorite color. I am just beyond excited to wear this out and about and in case you guys were curious, this was from Francesca's. Then I got more pajamas because fun fact about me, I love pajama sets and also I spend more time at home than I do out and about. I'm such a homebody and I'm not afraid to admit it. So if I'm not going out, like there's no way I'm getting dressed. So I got this really, really pretty purple ombre pajama shirts 
And the best part about it is that it comes with these purple star shorts and it's iconic because it's purple stars with two pajamas. You get it? Purple stars and then socks. There's two pairs of socks. Purple stars 02. Ta-da! Ching! No, but seriously, I love these pajamas and I'm definitely going to wear them for my next StarFam fan mail unboxing. It'll be sleepover edition. It'll be so fun. I'll have my purple star PJs. I also got a new charger and this one charges your phone super duper fast, which is amazing because fun fact about me, I actually have three different iPhones. One is for filming, one is for editing, and the other is just for personal use. So this will absolutely come in handy. Then in this cute little gift bag, I got a Mary Cookie Bath and Body Works candle. Oh my gosh, this is quite literally the best smelling candle I've ever smelled. It's just delicious and I'm obsessed. And then in addition to that, I got this Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Lotion from Bath and Body Works and Warm vanilla sugar is just one of those scents that you cannot go wrong with. And here's a fun little fact for you guys. People are naturally more attracted to people that smell like vanilla. It's such a calming scent. It's not overwhelming. Did you guys get anything from Bath & Body Works this year? Let me know in the comments below. You guys, I am in love with this next item. See what I did there? You see what I did there? Uh-huh. So it's this decoration that says love and it lights up. I'm not sure if you guys can tell because of the bright studio lights, but yeah, it lights up and I am absolutely going to be putting this in my living room for Valentine's Day. If I had to choose three favorite holidays, they would be Halloween, Christmas, and Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments, you guys, what your three favorite holidays are. Valentine's Day is just so cute and sparkly and pink and girly and sweet, especially now that I have a boyfriend because <laughs> as I started to get older, I had a harder time appreciating Valentine's Day because I would just feel so chronically single. However, now I think it is even more exciting and magical since I have someone to share it with. I got this lip pillow and this is going to go in my Lipsest office. And for those of you that are unaware, I have my own brand of lip balm called Lipsest and I actually have an office space where I create labels and respond to customer emails. It's basically just an office where I do work for Lipsest. So this will fit perfectly in there. I cannot wait to eat these. These are strawberry cordials. And honestly, this is my favorite chocolatey candy ever. It beats everything. And this is from a chocolate company called Betsy Ann's. They are just absolutely delicious. Chef's kiss. Then I kind of gifted these to myself, honestly. They are old fashioned fruit jellies. And I ordered these from Amazon for my brother, Scotty. So he got a bag of them. And then I ordered a bag for myself because they're very nostalgic. And I think they taste amazing. You guys, how stinking cute are these dish towels? It says Tweet Heart and ah! I'm just in love with this. It's adorable. And since I recently just became a homeowner, I'm always in need of new decor, especially for all the different holidays um, because I moved in in the summer. So I really don't have any Valentine's Day decor, which is why I got so much for Christmas. And then we got even more Valentine's Day decor. This is going to go up on my mantle where my stockings are currently hung, but it's going to look so cute. And not gonna lie, I am pretty eager to take down all of my Christmas decorations just because I wanna appreciate the Valentine's Day ones for as long as possible. So literally on January 1st, I am going to fully decorate for Valentine's Day. This ivory throw blanket is so cute. It has little hearts. These little XO pillows are also going to go on my couch. And then I even got these heart-shaped placemats. This house is going to be so pink and so cute and so sweet looking for Valentine's Day. I might just have to do a house tour. And then lastly, you guys, I received four brand new mugs and they are so cute. Needless to say, they are Valentine's Day themed, but I sort of feel like these could be great for any time of the year, especially the two with the simple little hearts. I just think they're adorable. Like, look at those little heart-shaped handles. Too cute. So, you guys, that was everything that I received for Christmas this year in 2022. Again, if you haven't already, please let me know in the comments below what you got for Christmas and what your favorite thing was. But thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And just for fun, let me know in the comments below what type of YouTube videos you would like to see me do next year in 2023. I love you guys. Two minutes back, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye! Mwah.